G'day everyone. Uh, this is just the build report for the Stone Blender, um, which is a Soul Bender, which is Mad Bean's layout called the Pasty Face. I actually had a couple of little issues with this build. One of them was, um, I suppose, my fault, and the other one was I was getting a really low output from the from the effect, and I ended up working out that it was actually, believe it or not, my test box is outputting a low volume for some reason. I'm going to rebuild it uh, from scratch, but um, for some reason the output on this thing was like a quarter of what it should be. So I ended up going on this quest to increase the output of um, of the Soul Blender, Soul Bender, and um, and I did. But in the process, I kind of learnt quite a bit too about the circuit. And there's a few mods that you can do. If you decide that you want to actually increase it, the output of the of the Soul Band, I can show you how. But I've actually just put these back to stock because um, uh, it's got heaps of output um, as stock. But I did do one modification. Um, there's a 47k resistor on the output. Uh, I I had one that was set with the 47k resistor and one that was set without. And when I was AB testing them, I noticed that one had a lot more clarity than the other. The other one sounded kind of dark and a bit sort of muddy. Uh, and I found that that was actually the one with the 47K resistor. So I actually ended up removing that from the output. It sound, I, I personally think it sounds much better without it. Um, you could have that on a switch to turn it on and off, like a dark switch or something. Um, but I, th I thought that it was just better just to, just to not have it on there at all. So there's not a huge amount to tell on the inside of this one. Same, similar sort of setup to the buzz around. Got the Mad Bean Road Rage, which is the charge pump that flips the power over on the side here, and that goes into the um, into the into the Soul Bender. And um, I explained that in another video, so I'm not going to go over that again. Um, for the transistors, I used um, two MP. 21 D's um, that's the two silver ones uh, the ones I was referring to as silver in the comparison video and then a um, 80s low uh, high leakage um, about 120 120 HFE for um, Q3 the differences were pretty subtle but um, that's what I ended up going with I think it sounded slightly better anyway so for the mod I ended up using the link um, on the on the output of the circuit there's a 47k resistor um, which was as described unnecessary um, and I actually took that off and put the that link there instead uh, which I thought made it sound a bit clearer so that's why I ended up going with that and I might just go to the schematic um, on the um, web page now and just point out a few things so this is the project file for the pasty face the soul bender and basically if you're etching your own board you want to pretty much ignore all of this even the soul bender bill of materials don't look at that keep going down right to the bottom you've got your etch there you've got the the parts layout there and the schematic below and you actually populate the pcb with the values that are stated in this schematic and not the build the bill of materials above uh, there's a few differences and if you do that you'll have a few strange things happen like the tone won't work properly for instance on the schematic you can see R1147K, that's the one that I removed. I actually removed that to increase the output, which it does slightly, but it also I found it also uh, improved the clarity, like I was saying before, quite a, quite a bit. Um, it sort of restores a bit of a top end. You may not actually like that, um, but I would definitely suggest giving it, a, giving it a go. I just think it just sounds clearer. And in the pursuit of trying to fix this volume drop problem that I was having that was actually the test box and not the actual circuit. Um, there were a few suggestions and if you're building the circuit you may want, if you want more output you may want to do these. I think it's got substantial output even without having to do these mods and I actually returned them back to stock because I just thought that um, there's no reason modding it if it's already doing what it's supposed to be doing. But if you want to have more boost you can do uh, one of the mods was to change R9 and R8 around so you get more voltage into the circuit. Um, so R9 will be 18K and, and R8 will be 10. And the other one was to increase R10 down here to 33K. You actually end up getting more bass towards the end and the volume actually goes up as you turn the, as you turn the tone up a bit. So that sort of 
changes the tone a bit, but um, you get more output that way as well. So that's it for the build report. I wasn't going to do a sound demo because I've already done the germanium transistor tests and you got a bit of a sample of what they sound like, but it sounds really good, so I think I'm probably actually going to do this, do the sound demo anyway. So stay tuned for that, and um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.